Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a farmer's market haul and cook with me. Sorry, I just got done mowing, so I'm exhausted. My face is red and all that good stuff. But anyways, real life over here. So I wanted to do an intro because I had a oopsie and I had previously um, did a haul and um, some of the stuff we didn't like. <laughs> I had shared it on Instagram, um, so that people are probably, if you watch seen that Instagram, you're probably gonna be like, this is not the same thing. Um, so the haul that I shared on Instagram had goat meat in it. We thought we would try goat meat. It was a no-go. Uh, and the, the veggies were just horrible, horrible. Um, so I did a redo, <laughs> I deleted, which it actually got deleted and it honestly, it just kind of was meant to be because it just wasn't good. And I wasn't excited about the video, um, because we just had a bad experience. So we went back, tried it again. We just got veggies this time, no meat. <laughs> um, and so I was happier with what I got and, um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is in collaboration with Tori over at Mountain Mama Living. Y'all know how much I love her. Go over and give her some love. Y'all, I'm telling you, she is the sweetest person alive. I love her to death. She is so sweet. We have become really good friends through YouTube and I'm so blessed to be able to meet her um, through YouTube. Hopefully one day we can meet in person. That would be amazing. So if you've never heard of her before, um, she shares a similar content. She is vegan, but her family eats the classic American diet. And I love her channel because she shares her vegan recipes, but then she shares the recipes that she makes for her family. And y'all, she makes it look so easy. I don't know how she does it. That's what I've told her. I was like, you make it look so easy cooking pretty much two different dinners you know, whenever you cook for lunch, breakfast, dinner, or whatever, she makes it look so freaking easy. So I love that about her and she's adventurous. She shares all of mommy life, um, her adventures with her kids and um, cooking and all that stuff. So I know you're gonna love her channel. Please go over and give her some love if you've never heard of her before. Um, but like I said, today's video is a farmer's market haul and cook with me. She's also gonna be sharing a haul and making a recipe or two so I hope that you enjoy this video. We do plan on doing a couple of these throughout the summer, um, just to give y'all some inspiration to shop local um, at your local farmer's market, little side, you know, street venue, venues, um, like vendor places. We have a ton through here. We've got um, a huge farmer market every Saturday, and then we have several smaller ones that are like on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, um, it's great to be able to shop local and support the local farmers and support small businesses. So if you have a farmer's market near you, I highly recommend going and checking them out. Go and give the small, the small businesses and farmers some love. So let's go ahead and get into it and I hope you enjoy this video. So here is our little farmer's market haul. I'm gonna be honest, I had one already, re I already had one ready, and I ended up accidentally deleting it, so I had to go back, redo. So here's what we got. We have got some little potatoes. We've got two zucchini. I meant to pick up squash also, and I totally forgot, so we only have two zucchini, because I, I went to the farmer's market this time with a recipe in mind. So, and I totally forgot my squash, but we'll just make it work. And then I just got two ears of corn because it did not look good. The ones that we had bought from the first video that I said that I accidentally deleted, um, it wasn't good any either. So I was nervous about buying this one. I just don't think it's ready yet. It's just not in season. Um, so here's what we got. We are going to, I'm going to share with you guys how I'm going to put these together. We're gonna do two side dishes, one with the potatoes, and then one with the zucchini and the carrots. That's gonna be one dish. And then we're gonna serve it with some huge ribeye steaks, y'all. 
So I thought I would share what seasoning Luke used. He used the Two Pig Mafia. And as you know, if you've watched before when he does steaks, he always lets them sit out to get to room temperature before you pop them on the grill. It does way better. He explained it in a couple videos ago. I'll try to find it and have it linked because he gives a good description on why you should do that. But you should always have beef come to room temperature before you grill it. So for the first one, we're gonna go ahead and get the zucchini squash corn casserole in the oven. So like I said, I forgot to pick up squash, but you're supposed to have zucchini, squash, and corn for this recipe. Here is a few things that you're gonna need. I will have the link to the original recipe that I found that I'm kind of going off of on Pinterest. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But I am gonna be subbing out breadcrumbs for some crackers. I just like the butteriness of the crackers baked. You're gonna need some sour cream. You're gonna need some mayonnaise. You're gonna need some butter. You're gonna need some onion. Of course, your corn, zucchini. You're gonna need some Parmesan cheese, some minced garlic, and some shredded cheese. I'm using the triple cheddar here. And then you're also gonna need a couple eggs, but I have a couple. We've got some of these uh, quail eggs left over and I'm just gonna use, use these and finish these up. So these are the ones that I had picked up our last haul, the last farmer's market haul. Um, and I, like I said, all that footage is accidentally deleted it. So we had to start over. Um, so these are local. They were um, from Versailles, Kentucky. So that's local to us. So we're gonna use these in replace of regular eggs. So now that you got all your veggies cut up, you're just going to add in some salt and pepper. I just seasoned with my heart, y'all know that. Some minced garlic. Some sour cream. Some mayo. Duke's is my favorite, thanks to Kat, but I just use what I had on hand. And then give everything a good mix. And then you're gonna add in your cheese. You can use shredded Parmesan if you want. I just always have the sprinkle parm on hand, so I just did a good serving of that. And then I'm also gonna add some of that triple cheddar. Now remember, like I said, I'll have the original recipe linked down below, and the original recipe called for yellow squash also, and I totally wish I had yellow squash, but y'all, this was so, so good. The only thing I would change which is a personal preference because we don't like crunchy veggies. And for the 30 minute time that it was in the oven, they were still kind of crunchy. Um, not like super crunchy, we still ate it, we really enjoyed it. And I actually shared this with my grandparents and they loved it and ate the rest of the whole casserole. <laughs> um, so I mixed all the cheese in and then I'm now I'm going to add in, your, add in some egg. And like I said, I'm using the quail eggs from that first farmer's market haul that was a total fail but i'm so glad that i went back and tried this again because this was a super delicious show
So I'm just gonna add that into my greased casserole dish, top it with some crushed Ritz crackers and some melted butter, bake it in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. Like I said, this was super good. If you want your veggies a little more cooked like we would like them, I would recommend sauteing them in a pan in some butter um, before you mix everything together. When I make this again, that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm just going to take and cut all my veggies up, throw it in a saute pan with some butter, kind of get them a little tender, and then mix them and bake them. Um, like I said, that's just personal preference. If you don't have a weird texture problem like I do, um, go ahead and make it as is. And this was super good. So while the casserole's in the oven, I went ahead and cut up my potatoes. We're going to roast these in the air fryer. I actually made a version of these on Sunday's video. I'll have that um, listed down below if you're interested. Um, I pretty much make them the same, but then I also just kind of add what I think. And this time I went in with some salt and pepper. I went in with some onion powder, some paprika, some minced garlic, some Parmesan cheese, and some balsamic vinegar. Um, like I said, I don't ever, I don't measure. <laughs> I season with my heart what I think looks right. Um, give them a good toss, and y'all know me. If you've been here long enough, you know this just how I cook. Um, I always just add what I think looks right, what I know that our family's gonna enjoy, and there are several different ways that you can make these roasted potatoes, but they are super simple and such a delicious side dish. So I just put those on my air fryer basket and I'm going to air fry those at 450 for 20 minutes and y'all they were crispy and delicious so I have some extra noodles that I had left over from lunch so I'm just going to heat those up just to have because I know Winston will eat them and I'm just going to take and put some butter in the pan Let that melt and then I'll just add the noodles. Like I said, they're already cooked. I just need to just heat them through. So we'll do some butter noodles along with our casserole and potatoes and steak. And here is the zucchini and corn casserole right out of the oven. Y'all, this was so good. We will definitely be making this again. Next time we will add in our squash, like the recipe called for. And then, like I said, if you don't have an issue with texture of veggies, definitely make this as is. Next time I'll just kind of cook them before, kind of steam them up, get them started, and then finish baking in the oven. But this was a super delicious meal. Make sure that you go and check out your local farmer's market, see what they got, shop local, shop, shop from your farmers. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out Tori. I'll have her link in the description box below. And I hope you all have a fabulous week. Bye, guys. Bye.